What's up, Gemini gang? Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Sunday. All Gemini placements take what resonates. Think the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personal readings in the description box, you guys. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit that subscribe. Y'all know what it is. All right. So interesting. It's some interesting energies. We have earth magic here on the bottom, which is 26, reduces to an eight. Fearlessness in removing obstacles. Love to see it. Telepathy. Um, transmission, perception, and communication, which is a number 22, which I've been seeing 222 a lot during the readings. So this is interesting. That's a four. And this is a six adjustment. Looking back, but moving forward. I love it. All right. So, um... I want to skim through them both, see what they talk about. Hopefully this reading's not too long. All right, so this one was on the top, so of course, I like you, you guys to see the artwork on there. I always love the artwork on these cards. This card shows the priestess of the universal mind, the internal voice. The light that rises from above her crown chakra opens the door to all of spirit. The orb encircling her heart center vibrates through infinity, opening the portal to immortal wisdom. She comes to tell you that you are right now capable of profound perception and telepathic communication. You've been endowed with this talent since the origins of divine consciousness at the beginning of time. Let yourself trust that this in this innate power when you want to receive, all you have to do is stop, breathe, open up, and trust. Love it. The wolf's eyes pierce straight into the heart of the spirit world. Unlike the wolf on card 21, who guides you on your personal path, this one creates a direct connection with your ethereal, enti <laughs> ethereal entities riding the waves of the energetic realm. The wolf's incredible instincts, acute senses, and extraordinary intelligence offer profound understanding of each aspect of the environment. You have this capacity as well. Practice tuning in to the helpful transmissions all around you and you'll be amazed by spontaneous insights. This powerful card calls upon your incredible ability to reach out and communicate with the very elements of the earth. In addition to receiving transmissions from the outer edge of the universe, from the spirit world and beyond, it is your destiny and the destiny of mankind to evolve into this deep telepathic state. Do not think it is beyond you. Open up to the sleeping power and the universe will speak to you in more ways than you can imagine. Love it. So the affirmation for this card is... I am a receiver of universal power and information. The infinite wisdom of this world always comes to me when I need it. So with the telepathy card can also be someone maybe trying to speak with, uh, with you as well, telepathically. Adjustment, looking back, moving forward. Okay, um, I'll skim through this one. Um, she has an owl, ask for guidance, okay? Uh, for about adjustments to make before moving forward. This card marks a pause in your energy, a time to contemplate what you've been doing and determine if any changes would prove beneficial. Reflection and course correction now are wiser than charging full steam ahead. Yes, so I kind of touched on this in the last reading as well. Uh, Gemini's, the owl has extraordinary vision and it can adjust its focus from telescopic to microscopic in an instant. In fact, it is always adjusting, always ready to redirect its path for a more effective result. This card is suggesting that you do the same. Review your previous choices to determine what has worked for you. Look ahead to see what changes can accelerate your plans. Fruitation or fruition. Mm -hmm. This card calls for some patience and courage for you to have to shift or even rent, uh, abandon the path that has been your previous focus and I said this in the last reading as well you guys mm -hmm. thank you spirit but take note of the bright light from the right the future pouring into the priestess of wisdom's left hand 
the end of the hand of receiving as well as the orbs there at her third eye she is guided in her adjustments by the clarity and vision of the owl as well as being directed into the future by the light in the orbs of the spirit world you too can be guided when you let yourself stop reconsider adjust and move peacefully forward and trust the affirmation for this card is it is safe for me to stop and reconsider my path and process i am patient and courageous in the choices and changes i make so love this energy gemini's it's about redirecting but also speaking to spirit i talk about spirit um, in the last reading, uh, Gemini is trying to communicate with you and communicating with you, showing you some things, eight of swords, but you may not be seeing them, uh, Gemini, is because you might be too wrapped up in, in other things, uh, the world and things that may not be working out for you anymore, um, Gemini. So there's a strength card, which is interesting because one of these cards has the infinity symbol on it. I think it's this one. And the strength card definitely has the infinity symbol on there as well. King of Wands, yes. All right, so what came out with the King of Wands is the Justice, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Hangman. So some type of enlightenment. I feel like ooh, heavy courage here. The strength here with the King of Wands is a lot of fire. And I feel like, Gemini, there's something here that you are needing to move forward with confidence about. There's something here you're needing to move forward despite... Um, your fears you may be in a situation right now and you don't know how to move forward or you don't know um because a lot of times the eight of swords again it's she can easily get out of this she can easily wiggle her way out of this she's just choosing to stay stuck there is a way out of the situation um also with her background with the background being like bleak and gray and you know everything is like kind of gray and colorless it's because um a lot of times this car can be like lacking creativity um you know, what I feel like, Gemini, you, you're not really seeing solutions uh, to a problem. Or, again, this could be someone in your energy. But solutions are going to come. Spirit is trying to communicate with you, uh, Gemini. And I feel like you're going to achieve something major here with this, with this world card. I feel like something you may have thought you would have never done or never achieved. You're ready to go to the next level, uh, Gemini's and I feel like you may be kind of hindering yourself um, in that aspect. Oh, yes, the judgment card. Mm hmm. Yes, there is something here you're not seeing, Gemini's. Mm hmm. But sometimes we can't see through our own bullshit. And like I said, I'm gonna be, y'all know I'm gonna be honest with you, okay. Sometimes we can't see through our own foolishness. I mean, it's just a bottom line. Um, and a lot of times we are, we're learning, and, and I've been guilty of this, you guys. So, you know, don't ever think that I'm jumping on you or anything. Like, the stuff that I tell you guys is usually my experiences. That's like my life path and my life purpose is to uh, help people and teach people and guide people based on my own experience. So I go, I go through the fucked up shit and then I can try to keep y'all from going through it. <laughs> okay. But a lot of times, um, we, we trap ourselves or we hold on to stuff when it's, we know it's time to release it. Um, Gemini's and I feel like that is what's going on here, whether it be a job, a career, um, a lover, uh, anything along the lines of that even if it's just a temporary release we we know that it's time to let this whatever this is go but we don't because we are um we can't see a way forward or, or we can't see our lives without that thing but spirit it has already showed you and like i said in the last reading spirit is going to show you whatever this thing is that you can't uh let go of spirit is going to show you your life without that thing or that person and i feel like you're going to be like oh okay i didn't even know this was possible i didn't even know that i could even have something like this but you're you're, you're holding on to something um when it's time to evolve from it yep thank you spirit wow 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 the moon mm-hmm Fears, fear of the unknown, 
Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the moon pretty much goes in line with what I was saying with the Eight of Swords. I'm seeing the star here. Of course, I'm going to cover up her boobies. Um, I'm seeing the star card here. Um, you have a fear of the unknown, uh, Gemini's. You, you stick to what you know, even when it's detrimental to you. And again, this could be someone in your energy, so take it how it resonates, okay? But uh, it, it's there's something here. I, I told you, Spirit's going to show you something. Some type of opportunity is going to come out of a fucking, literally out the sky for you. Uh, whether it be love, whether it be finances or whatever. Whatever it is that you're holding on to that you're afraid to let go of, uh, Gemini, or you're, you're overly attached to. Um, you have to learn the art of detachment, too uh Gemini's so that that's going to be for someone because you know a lot of times we get uh especially uh, air signs particularly Gemini we get in our heads a lot and um you know it's it's hard to detach from something when you're always thinking about it uh Gemini's I'm seeing you're needing to kind of open yourself up to other possibilities and also get rid of that fear of the unknown um, because there's something working for you behind the scenes, uh, Gemini's, that you may not be aware of just yet. Yet, but you will be. You see how this, in this card, this hand is coming out of the sky. So, of course, you can't see what's going on here in this cloud and beyond. But you'll see it once it's here, once once this hand comes out, um, Gemini's. And then it's going to be based on what you do with it. Seeing the temperance here on the bottom. Yes, I'm loving this energy, um, Gemini's. Okay, yeah, I'm not taking that because I have fell out. But uh, let me show you guys what fell out. I always like to show you guys in case it pops out again. The Two of Wands. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> The Hierophant, yes. And then we have the Four of Swords here on the bottom, which can be about rest, which which can be about um, taking some time away, which is what this adjustment card was saying about you kind of pulling away from the world. Um, this is about reconsidering, contemplating, just pulling away and seeing what it is that you really want, Gemini's. Um, and I've, kind of, I've touched on this in the readings uh, lately, and I love how a lot of times spirit just kind of gives us little bits and pieces of things until it finally comes together in a reading. And I feel like it's it's a lot of bits and pieces that I touched on in the past readings that are coming up in this reading as far as um, you you not necessarily doing something for the right reasons, uh, Gemini. You're not doing something because you know this is what's best for you. You do you're doing it because you're familiar with that with that situation or you have a fear of the unknown um, or whatever other fears or insecurities that you might have. Um, Gemini's so what I'm seeing you you're needing to build your confidence up. And don't miss the the um, gift that spirit gives you or don't miss that that uh, the messages that spirit are, are bringing you because like I said, I feel like there may be some things that you aren't seeing yet um that's going to help you move forward from whatever this is oh child man the high priest i'm fucking good gemini's the Knight of Wands on the bottom. Yeah, there's something you're not seeing. Now, and it doesn't mean that you have you have to have your eyes open necessarily, but I feel like internally you know the answer to something, but you're not listening to it because of um, what you know or what you're familiar with. And a lot of times people get hooked on the idea of something even if it's not working anymore and these oracles are talking about redirecting a change of route uh you know switching things up so i give you an example which i see a lot in the one-on-ones 
well, this is my person. And we talked about getting married and this and that and this and that. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. And you have to understand that people have free will too. So even though that may have been a thing at that time, that person can always change their mind and you can change your mind. Um, Gemini, if that makes sense. Uh, and sometimes a lot of times where we, we think our life is going in one way and it goes in a totally different direction. Like I didn't think in a million years that I would end up doing something like this. You know, I was big into real estate. I wanted to have uh, I wanted to own a store and all this other stuff, which I can still do. But Spirit was like, you need to do this right now. This is what you need to do right now. Not that. So um, that's what I'm getting. And, and I'm using that example because it doesn't mean that you'll never end up with this person. But it could mean that there is a new uh, direction you need to take. Maybe you need to get out there and explore. Maybe you do end up with someone else for a few years and then you reconnect with that person later on. Take that higher risk. So I'm just using that as an example. But don't get super set on an idea to where you are uh, sabotaging yourself, uh, Gemini, and you're not moving forward and you're not growing. <sighs> Fuck. The Eight of Swords again, Gemini's. The Devil. I'm telling you, there's something you need to release here, Gemini's. You you gotta you have to release it right now. It doesn't mean you gotta release it forever. It doesn't mean that this whatever this is, especially with love. If it's a job, fuck that job, okay? Um, it, it doesn't mean it won't come together later. But you are literally blocking your ascension. By holding on to something, by having a fear of, of the unknown. See, she's blindfolded and her eyes are closed here. She's blindfolded here. She's blindfolded here. So it's like, Gemini, you don't know what's next. Because all, all my energy was poured into this. I had I had my, my bank on this. Like, this was supposed to happen. But now I'm seeing it's not happening. And you don't want to move on from that. you got to move on from that. Because there's something else or something better, uh, Gemini. Spirit said, no, no, no. The, the strength card uh, uh, on the bottom, we're seeing the strength card here. Spirit said, no, I, there's something better for you. I have something better for you, Gemini. You said this is what you wanted. This is what I'm trying to make happen for you. Again, I'll, I'll use um, love again as an example, right? Say you're dealing with a person, and I'm, I'm going to use some of the readings as an example. They always playing games. They're non-committal. They're um, they give off they give off narcissism. They love bombing. They don't reciprocate. So you, what you do is you go to your journal. You write down all of the things that you want in a partner, right? None of that shit is in that in that person, uh, Gemini, and you know it. You know, but what you want is you want that person to do what you're asking. But it doesn't work like that because that person also has free will, Gemini. So they still have the choice if they want to do that or not. So once spirit sees, okay, this person's not going to do what Gemini is wanting in a partner. I'm going to get rid of that motherfucker and I'm going to bring in the person that, that Gemini is actually wanting and needing in their life. But a lot of times we get so set on that person, that job, that situation, that house, that city, that state. When spirit's like, no, this this is this isn't what you asked for. Remember? <laughs> and this is what I and I said this in the in the you versus them. A lot of times, Gemini, you're not getting what you want out of love because you are giving mixed signals. You can't desire a person that isn't giving you what you want, uh, Gemini's, and then think you're going to get what you want. It doesn't work like that. It just doesn't, you guys. You, you're telling spirit what you want and spirit is making that shit happen. But you're still holding on to things that, um, that aren't lining up with you. That's not, it's not what you want, uh, Gemini's. And the more you pay attention to some shit that you don't want, 
it's going to amplify. If this person is dogging you out and you still worried about what they're doing and if they're going to call and if they're going to come back, you're going that you're it's going to amplify. You're going to keep getting the bullshit, uh, Gemini's. But if you detach from that, no, nah, I'm good. This this isn't what I want. Spirit, bring me what I want. Sometimes it is in the form of this person coming back changed, coming back different, coming back in the way that you want. Sometimes it isn't though. So you have to be okay with that. Don't hold yourself back from your blessings. of swords love it i feel like the king of swords um gemini's a strength card again on the bottom is you um detaching i feel like some of you need to learn the art of detachment also not putting so many expectations on uh the outcome of, of a situation as well um because a lot of times it doesn't pan out that way and this i'm not going to go into it all over again i can't wait till my patreon is up but again, like I tell you guys, I don't be jumping on y'all, but I tell you guys stuff from experience. I tell you guys things from experience, okay? Um, I, I'm feeling like some of you guys need to learn the art of detachment. You also need to learn, learn to have compassion for yourselves. You need to learn how to um, love on yourself. This love you're trying to give to somebody else, if that somebody else isn't around... Just give it to yourself, uh, Gemini, until this comes in. But spirit is trying to give you what you want, but you're blocking yourself from it. You're blocking it, Gemini, because you think that something is supposed to work out and happen a certain way, and it's not. Okay, that ain't gonna work, Spirit. Not a bunch of cards, please. I was like, now you don't want to give me nothing. <laughs> okay, something fell out. Ooh. Okay, all right, Spirit. That's how you do me? Okay, cool. The lovers. Told you. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Heavy fire. You're going to get exactly what you want, Gemini's. Mm-hmm. But there are some things you don't see right now. I feel like you have a fear of the unknown. Um, you don't know what's next. You you have your, your mind fixated on something. Yeah, it may be love. But in many cases, it's it's going to be different than that. It's love and something else. It's love and codependency. It's love and your uh, attachment issues, uh, Gemini's. You being overly attached to a situation and an outcome because you have it set in your mind that um, this is going to work out in this way with this person, with this job. And Spirit's like, nope. And the more you do that, the more I'm going to take it away from you, uh, Gemini's. Let me get a couple of these because I need to know. Damn it, I really, I have so many other decks that will be dope for this reading. I really need to start using my other decks. I got, wait a minute, what do I have down here? Uh... Shit, I ain't got my other, uh... So splitting this deck I'm seeing happening now. So something is happening. I'm telling you, uh, Gemini's, something... Uh, Spirit has something for you. What you wanted, but you have to let go of the notion that shit is supposed to happen a certain way. Uh, Gemini's, okay? You gotta get that out your head, and you got to, you gotta understand that um, mm -hmm, yeah, you got to understand that, um, 
Sometimes there's a different plan. Spirit wants to give you what you want, but do you really want it though? Because you want this thing that's not giving you what you want. So that's what I mean as far as you are giving your, um, uh, you're giving the, the universe or God or spirit mixed signals because you want a motherfucker that's non committal that treats you like shit. While in the meantime, you're like, no, actually, I want to be treated like a princess or a prince. I want to be treated like a king or a queen. I want somebody that's going to commit. I want a family. You can't have it both ways. What is it? So like I said, using love as an example, you got to be like, yeah, I love this person, but this person's not giving me what I want. So you need to energetically open yourself up for spirit to give you what you want. Because it might not be with this person. Uh, Gemini's is just the way that it is. All right. So, you know, truth hurts, but it's, it's just what it is. Uh, Gemini's, I, there's been situations where I loved someone, but that person just wasn't for me. They weren't giving me what I wanted. So I'm, I'm the type of person I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to stick around uh, very long. <laughs> uh, but I've also uh, practiced the art of detachment because I used to have uh, attachment issues as well. Um, so like I said, I'll tell you guys things from experience, not because, you know, I'm jumping on you or judging or anything like that, but I tell you guys shit from experience. All right. So well, on the bottom, we have Capricorn, which is a uh, number seven, and this is a fourth row direction change. Holy fuck. I'm fucking good, man. I'm good. Shit. Options. Free will, choice, opportunity, alternatives, multiple choice, the moment of truth, crisis, possibilities, turning point, change in circumstance. <laughs> Something's within a few days. Could be spirit, could be a person, could be a job, could be anything like that. So we have spilled milk, which is Pisces. This one is regret. Accidents happen. Don't sweat the small stuff. Mistakes. Leave it in the past. It's over. Cannot be changed. Disappointed. Clean up time. Let it go in minor problems. Then we have flamingos. I see this one a lot for you guys. I love it. Which is Pisces as well. Soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, dating, attraction, seduce, long-term potential, displays of affection, charm, it factor, two of a kind, alluring, a je ne sais quoi. And then we have fairy tale, which is cancer. Believe the impossible, daydreams, romantic ending, universal archetypes, hopeful, magic, unicorn, rainbows, aspire, happily ever after, fanciful, and story we tell. Your story, your uh, romantic story is here. But it may not be the way that you thought it was going to be, Gemini's. It's going to be better. All right? Hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.